friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Maui, Hawaii. This is the third part in the Maui series. I hope you enjoyed the previous two. In this video, I am going to take you on a tour of the Maui swap meet and the beautiful Ali Kula Lavender Farm. I will also show you what kind of food you should buy from the most popular supermarket chain in Hawaii, Foodland. This supermarket has probably the cheapest and some of the most amazing food options available on the island if you are interested in trying out some unique local cuisine. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's start with the Maui swap meet. Off to Maui. First thing in the morning, I drove from my accommodation in Kihei to Kahului. The Maui swap meet is open every Saturday morning from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the parking lot of University of Hawaii Maui College. It is held just off Kahului Beach Road across Wahine Pio Road from the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. The Maui Swap Meet has been an institution loved by both local residents and tourists since 1981. This is the place to find the only real bargains on Maui. It's just like a large flea market. T-shirts, jewelry, flowers, fresh fruits and vegetables hand-painted shirts and dresses and an amazing variety of other stuff and souvenirs which are all sold by Maui residents. You can also get some amazing local drinks and food. I especially enjoyed the fresh squeezed lemonade from Yellow Belly and the Hawaiian Ice Pops also called Popsicle in mainland US from Shaka Pops. These were really yummy. It was a really hot day and I was really happy to munch on these to cool me down. After getting refreshed, I continued to explore the rest of the swap meat. Around 200 vendors and thousands of customers, roughly 60% locals and 40% tourists show up here every Saturday morning knowing that this is the place for a good deal. As I walked around, I realized that there is plenty to eat at the Maui swap meet. Food trucks and other vendors sell snacks, nuts, candies, drinks, shave ice and complete lunch entrees. This is an opportunity to taste some authentic Maui foods for less money than you would pay in Maui's restaurants. Unfortunately, I was short on time. I spent just over an hour here, bought some souvenirs and then moved on to my next destination, the Ali Kula Lavender Farm. The Ali Kula Lavender Farm is in the upcountry region of Maui, nestled on the slopes of Haleakala. I drove from Kahului to Kula through the Highway 37 also known as Kula Highway. As I drive through this beautiful highway, let me tell you some interesting facts about the upcountry region of Maui. As it turned out, it was a good decision to start my drive from Kahului instead of Kihei. This is because even though Highway 37 is very close to the Kihei Wailea area, there is no public road connecting them. There actually is a road. However, it's rumored to be Oprah Winfrey's private road and therefore no peasants are allowed. There is also a rumor that upcountry residents don't want to be connected with the tourist areas of Kihei, Wailea and Makena. Still, the most commonly held belief is that the private road belongs to Oprah Winfrey. You might have noticed that 
As I drove from Kahului to Kula, the weather changed from hot and sunny to cloudy and gloomy. Depending on where you are on Maui, the weather conditions can be very different. I have even heard that it can be snowing in one area, for example the summit of Haleakala, but sunny on the beaches. That's extreme. The up country, which is between 1700 to 4500 feet elevation, is a popular location for residents to reside because of the cooler temperatures, which average in the 70s and low 80s. Up country also has far less humidity, especially compared to central Maui. Generally speaking, up country has the most comfortable climate. Okay, now finally I have reached the Ali Kula Lavender Farm. The Ali Kula Lavender Farm is open to the public from Friday to Monday 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The last entry at the gate is at 3.45 p.m. General admission fee to the farm is $3 per person. I paid the fee and then parked my car. Created by agricultural artist and horticultural master Ali Chang, the Ali Kula Lavender's 13.5 acre farm resides at an elevation of roughly 4000 feet and is home to approximately 55,000 lavender plants and 20 different varieties of lavender. the lavender farm now. Let's go and check out some lavenders. Lavender is a summer bloomer. However, the farm grows about 9 varieties of lavender that bloom all year round. Olive trees, hydrangea, protea, succulents and an exceptional variety of other plants can be found on the farm as well, which offers the first and only lavender lifestyle experience on Maui. Though lavender is not native to Maui, it has acclimated well to the majestic mountain slope with style and grace. Thriving in Kula's Mediterranean climate, Ali Kula Lavender Farms lavender blooms year-round in the cool, dry climate. Lavender was given to Ali Chang in 2001 by a dear friend and being the consummate gardener that he was, he planted the herb with the best of intentions to have it breathe and blossom into what Ali Kula Lavender is today, a true work of art. Much more than a working lavender farm, Ali Kula Lavender is a botanical garden filled with the artifacts and collectibles that Ali Chang gathered in his many years of travel and entrepreneurship.
Ali Chang prided himself on having an impeccable and ever-changing canvas for all eyes and took considerable pride in his work and the work of his staff. The farm illuminates the life Ali lived and the legacy he left behind. His art of growing plants and utilizing the resources available to him helped Ali Chang to transcend his role as a farmer to a master gardener and visionary. I heard that the best time to visit the farm is in the summer. The farm is most beautiful during July and August. But no worries if you can't make it during these months. The farm is open year round. I visited in October and these visuals are from this trip. As I mentioned, the Ali Kula Lavender Farm grows certain lavender varieties that bloom year round. With panoramic views and peaceful walking paths, the Ali Kula Lavender Farm is an excellent place to wander. Guided walking tours are available daily from 9.30 am to 2.30 pm for an extra fee with advanced reservations. I decided to do this self-guided tour to explore the farm at my own pace. The farm uses these plants to create products that enrich the quality of life by evoking joy, rejuvenation, comfort and serenity. The farm calls itself the premier purveyor of sustainable aloha through education, stewardship and nurturing the well-being of communities and planet for future generations. The property is absolutely gorgeous and thus a no-brainer for events such as weddings and small gatherings. There are different spots around the property and a little party house as well. It is truly a stunning backdrop for any event. Here there are full-time gardeners who pick a dozen bouquets of lavender every day. Some of the harvests go to flower bouquets and the rest goes into lavender based products that are sold in the boutique and around the world. The Ali Kula Lavender Farm shares their harvest with more than 25 local businesses that incorporate the lavender into more than 75 unique products including essential oil products, cosmetics, sachets, soaps, candles and scrubs. So sitting and relaxing at the gazebo on top of the lavender farm. Many benches and picnic tables offer majestic panoramic views of the shores and valleys below while the colors of the farm, mauves, reds, greens, oranges and more glisten all around as if unspooling from a dream.
with trails marked with delightful names peaceful path serenity road lovers lane and pinao or dragonfly circle ali kula lavender farm is a place to get lost only to find yourself again As lavender is not a native to Hawaii, the history behind the plant's arrival to the islands is somewhat unclear. But local residents are saying that in the 19th century, the herb traveled from England to the royal palace in Honolulu. Legend has it that Hawaii's last monarch, Queen Liliuokalani, fancied it. Living up to its noble history, Ali Kula Lavender means the royal lavender of kula Lavender is renowned for its calming and stress relieving effects. It is used as a cure for insomnia and depression. Really, lavender is the queen of herbs. This pretty purple plant can relieve pain and tension, enhance blood circulation and even treat respiratory problems. Its sweet soothing smell eases both body and mind. I have to say that I felt really relaxed walking through this farm filled with the aroma of lavender and other plants. It was a really refreshing experience. A gift shop is also located on the premises where visitors can find an impressive collection of products made from lavender. The range includes gourmet, bath and body, pet aromatherapy, and apparel as well as gift sets and specialty items. The shop sells everything made from lavender, from lavender essential oils to soaps and creams to lavender honey, lavender lilikoi jelly, lavender strawberry pepper jam and lavender scone mixes. I really enjoyed their house made lavender scone which comes with butter and lavender lilikoi jelly. Lilikoi means passion fruit. I couldn't get enough of it. I washed it down with amazing lavender coffee and herbal iced tea. I will just go back to Maui for enjoying this delicious lavender scone. Late Ali Chang's son, Koa Chang, continues to operate the farm. 
they have also cultivated nine garden beds for vegetables and herbs in the anticipation of a cafe ali chang was a buddhist so he populated his farm with buddha statues this zen buddha statue quietly greets the visitors among the lush plants and flowers of ali kula lavender farm After spending some time at the cafe I decided to walk around the lavender fields on the slopes of the hill in the farm We have lavenders here. This is the farm actually. It's summer, so there's not much blooming happening here on the farm for lavenders, but other plants are blooming. But at least you know I get to see the farm. Nice view from here. place to relax here I don't know how many acres this is but you have to walk around the entire farm and we're taking a shortcut through here Beautiful scenes. So if you are in Maui, you have some extra time to spend, check out this farm. It's scenic here and weather is better than at the coast. So uh, you will have no difficulty walking around here even in the summer time I guess. And there are benches along the trails you can sit down and relax a lot of different plants and flowers all over the farm I am liking it this is a different experience I will not say this is unique to Maui but it's still a good experience and good memory to have when you leave Maui and Hawaii there's a Buddha statue here let me show you and lavender all around us nice farm this buddha overlooking ali kula lavender farm and haliakala aptly symbolizes the peace and calmness surrounding this area 
far away from the hustle and bustle of Kihei, Lahaina or Wailea, this place is a must visit if you are longing for some peaceful time to channel your inner thoughts. After a few hours of blissful relaxation and a tummy full of lavender scone, it was time for me to leave this place. I did not even realize that within a few hours the weather has changed from cloudy to sunny. That delicious lavender scone made me more hungry so I set out to try few other local Hawaiian snacks. From Kula, I drove straight to Kihei to visit the Foodland Supermarket. Founded in 1948 in Honolulu and following a slogan, Food, Family, Friends and Aloha, Foodland operates 32 stores throughout the state of Hawaii. I quickly went inside and grabbed all the things I wanted to try. Look at what I got from Foodlands to eat. All Hawaii special. One hot chicken masubi, one hot shrimp tempura masubi, coconut mochi, spicy ahi poke, ahi poke. This one is ahi poke. Actually, this one is ahi shoy poke, I guess. This is Maui Pickle Blonde Lager Beer, Kona Brewing Company Island Lager, Golden Ale, Cucumber Kimchi, this is Poi, all Hawaii special, yummy. I was very excited to try a really popular dish in Hawaii called Poi. Here goes my review. Good. It's okay. I don't know what the hype is all about, but it's not bad. I'm not saying this is bad food, but weird food. Well, that was a frank review as I felt. Poi, a national food of the Hawaiians, made by baking and pounding the kalo or taro root and reducing it to a thin paste, which is then allowed to ferment. I took my time and enjoyed all of these delicious items as well as some amazing Hawaiian tropical fruits. It was an overwhelming but unique experience. I really enjoyed it. The fruits were fresh and delicious, mouth-watering. You will find a lot of tropical fruits at Foodland, the state's largest and oldest locally owned grocery chain. The biggest and freshest selections can also be found at the farmers markets where fruit was harvested the day before and picked at peak ripeness. There is a farmers market every day of the week, any time of the year because Hawaii's temperate climate enables farmers to grow year around. Believe it or not, Hawaii has four distinct seasons all of which produce different types of tropical fruits. I couldn't resist myself and finished a lavender scone I had picked up earlier in the day. The cucumber kimchi needs a special mention. It was really delicious. Okay, forgot to tell you about the macadamias. Okay, it's time to eat this pokey. Staying at Maui Vista. South Kihei. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel Live to Travel. To get instant notification when I upload new videos, please press that bell icon.
Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.